especially working for you and the Vice President. I'm so proud and uh, so delighted. Well, listen, we're pleased and proud to have you and appreciate your willingness to do this. Well, it's uh, and, you know, no, no, great enough, yeah, sure. or have you met? I, I haven't met you before. What, what I want to know is how the hell are you going to do two jobs at once? <laughs> I, I got you on two lists. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sir, I, you know, this is the White House. You can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> the White House can. I want to see you do it. <laughs> well, we have a very good mutual friend in Lou Wilson. Oh, really? He and I both served on the, on the Chiefs team. Well, Mr. President, uh, I, I feel very comfortable working for a person who knows more about this than I think and has more confidence in this area than any other human being I can think of. And to have the privilege of working for you and the, uh, the honor, as I say, he's back to our Listen, we all get to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President, for being so gracious as to see you. Thank you, Jim. Yes, sir. See you soon, I'm sure. All right. Nice meeting you. When nice do we actually you, get underway? Or are we? He's underway. Yeah. Yeah. So more think, giving more thought to this uh, than anybody else. Yeah. We're going one of the papers. Yeah, so I'll you're a large contestant. We've just been waiting until the schedule permitted and I could go in and do this thing. And to make this big thing of it, uh, it's just amazing. <laughs> George, <laughs> said they showed it on, George Soros said they showed on television uh, <laughs> all kinds of movies about it. <laughs> Every detail about a president. You know, you know, <laughs> I'm afraid we don't take much time. We've got to carry two at 10 30. We don't get to. I want to talk to you about the Constitution and the Balance of Budget. That's one of the most important things you have recommended. It's yes. something that I've worked on here with Harry Bud, Senior, and Junior, and a lot of other people all through the years. We never had been able to get one passed until you became president and recommended it. And we did pass it through the Senate. And Speaker O'Neill got up and killed it in the house. He led the move to kill it. Now, now the question has arisen just as to the type of amendment. Now, the one on top there is a double barrel outfit, and that's the one that Senator Hatch brought out from the subcommittee. Well, we have three topics today. I think we should recognize a newcomer here in our midst, the Deputy Secretary of State, Mr. Whitehead, and this will be his first meeting with us. Thank you. Pleased to have you here. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. And, uh, I didn't get it. Take the glass eye out, and I'll be all right. Three items here. The first one is state and local application of the Fair Labor Standards Act. And then we'll go to federal employees' health benefits and finally the immigration legislation. And you're on. Okay. Well, Mr. President, the first topic that is one in which you have had probably more experience than anyone here. Because if you remember when you were governor of California, one day there was this uh, terrible catastrophe that occurred the passage of the amendments of the Fair Labor Standards Act. I'm giving this an objective <laughs> view, <laughs> uh, which uh, was about to impose uh, new decisions. And Mike Horowitz is prepared to give the background and also discuss uh, the aspects of it. And then I think a number of people may have some comments. Mike? Mr. President, uh, it comes about because the Supreme Court this year, by a 5 4 decision, reversed prior decisions, which it said that the Tenth Amendment does not allow. Faithful support. Captain T. It's a pleasure to see you, Mr. President. Hi, Mr. President. Thank you so much for coming to come by. Well, listen, please 
have you come by, coming in and coming out. It's such an honor. <laughs> Listen, let me sneak in the middle here oh, and we'll, we'll get a posed terrific. picture. Terrific. Yeah, that's the first thing Smile for one. <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, and I, I understand you have me. Wish you happy to Yes, thank you very much. I just got married on the 29th of June. And I, uh, since you weren't available, I married another woman. <laughs> the initials of the R are a good conservative Republican. <laughs> Dolly. A long time admirer and supporter of yours, and I'm going to be living in Chicago mm -hmm. with him. So it's close to my home. That's right. That's right. That's exactly right. We're going we're gonna to keep on getting our state legislators keeping them in line for the program. We've been Very doing, supportive. We've been doing as much as we can on the tax program and a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. so, and we keep growing. And the more we grow, the more support we can give to President Reagan, which we like to do. <laughs> That's right. And your administration has given us a good deal of support, too. And we're very appreciative of that as yeah. an organization. Your staff has just been very, very good to us. Thank you, for what you, thank you for what you've done. Thank, thank you. you. We will continue, sir. We will certainly keep you in our prayers tomorrow. Thank you. We hope everybody. <laughs> I hope they're a Republican doctor. President, this is Ursula Pearson and her husband. Okay. Very good. Ursula is your uh, financial manager, your bookkeeper uh, yes. here for the, for the White House. Well, uh, I know. I'm very grateful and appreciative. Mr. President, this is my husband, John. Hello. Nice to see you. I went to Germany on a class reunion. And I went to Trier, which was the oldest um, city German in city. Germany, the Roman city. And it was conquered by the Romans. And they still have gates over there. And this is the uh, Fort de Neve gate. And the mayor, because he found out that we were all 16 year old, 16 years old behaving, uh, class reunion, he gave us a little reception. And he surprised me, he, he found out that I worked for you. And he gave me this plate. And he's a very great admirer of you and a very great supporter of you because he's not only mayor of Trier, he's the, um, the mayor of the whole area where all your air bases are, Simbach oh. and Bitburg. And yeah. he saw you in Bitburg, and he also saw you in Hambach. And he said you were so uh, taken by, by the enthusiasm of the people for you because it really expressed what he felt for you well. because he's, <laughs> he's such a supporter for you. So he gave me this and he said to me, this was given out a year ago when the year was 2000. The city was 2000 years old. And he said at this time, it said that these were the eyes and the mouth of the Roman Empire looking towards the North and the New World America. And he said today he feels that this is America looking out to the world with the eyes and mouth. And you are the eyes and the mouth <laughs> of America. And well, he thinks you're the greatest. Well, thank you. I was so pleased and so honored to represent you. Well, I'm very it proud did. and pleased to have this. And I thank, thank you very much. And he said if you would only glance at it, the whole city and the whole area would be very honored. So I can go back and send hopefully a picture. Yes. And it will appear in the German newspaper. And even the, the men over there in the service will read it because it appeared in the German newspaper. Well. And hopefully it goes back. Because well, it is thank you very moral much. support and everything else. Well, I'm very honored. And incidentally, Thank I may you. tell you, those young people at home, about 10,000 of them, yes. uh, they, they put a lump in my throat also when I finished speaking. And 10,000 young German teenagers in our language sang our national anthem. Mm -hmm. Yes. If they'd asked me to say another word, I couldn't have said it. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful that the young people are so, so enthusiastic more than the older people. Well, but it was, he was very impressed and he is a supporter and he said you can always count on him. Thank you. And definitely on me. You got nervous in the service. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to hang in there, sir. I'm just saying. You. Missed you on some of these trips. Here. Well, I know. I was hoping you'd notice that. But uh, I want to come back and say goodbye. And uh, right now we're working on uh, more some plans. Perhaps go back to Oregon and uh, finish up some school and see what happens with that. But you know, six years later, I wanted to come and tell you that I had a great time and I hope that uh, I was able to provide some service for you. Well, you certainly were. And thank you for everything. Appreciate you very much. And, uh, go get them. Happy for you. Great. Just a little mental. Oh, thanks very much.
pull the papers on the desk or something. All right. All right. Thanks again. I appreciate it. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Slogging along in this monstrous mess of immigration. 